Hey, good morning guys, it's Jim from jagfx.com. It is Tuesday, 24th of July 2018, and this is just my daily video where I go through what I have done on the daily charts this morning for both the Mod MACD method and the high probability method. Now, once again, I forgot to do my weekly video last night, so I'll get onto that sometime today, hopefully. But this is just what I've done today. So we'll start off with the Mod MACD. It's a fairly quiet sort of day. Mod MACD. Um, I'll go through these ones first. Um, Euro Yen. These are ones yesterday I moved the stop up and I mentioned it in the part two update. So Euro Yen buy. All I did was move up the stop just above the point of entry and below the 25 SMA on that. That's a buy trade. I've already closed half. You can always pause the video to read my notes. That's the Euro Yen. There's three of them I did. The Euro New Zealand. I also moved the stop up yesterday after the video. And I advise you in the Facebook group. So stops just moved up to this level here below the 25 SMA and locking in profit there. You can see the MACD, the fast MACD is sort of grinding its way down. And there is a third one before we get into today's new trades. The Aussie New Zealand moved the stop up just above the point of entry which is well below the 25 S SMA and just below the 240 LMA so it's a buy here going sideways you can see the Mac fast MACD is heading down to me that tells me it's eventually going to drop down but at the moment just moved my stop up locking in a little bit of profit there already closed out half now this morning's trades three all involving the Swiss franc not exactly super excited about them all. USD, Swiss franc. Yeah, it's been going sideways. You can just have a look at the dots, the crosses on the fast MACD here. Look at the standard MACD. That is a sideways market. Got a sell signal this morning. Um, fast MACD through the zero level. Confirmed. The standard MACD is not exactly in sell mode. I'll just zoom in a bit. It, technically it is, but it's not setting the world on fire. Um, the candle from yesterday closed below the 25 uh, SMA, so that's fine, meets the criteria. Red dot on the QMP filter meets the criteria. I'm sort of glad I'll sleep in about an hour and a half after the market opens. I got in a better price up here. There's emails. So yeah, we're in a sell on the USD Swiss franc. As I said, not super excited about it, but it's a valid signal. Aussie Swiss franc, another sell signal. Um, the actual, the actual uh, initial signal was yesterday, um, but the standard MACD wasn't in sell mode, and price didn't close below the 25 SMA so there's one criteria short so today we've closed below the 25 SMA and I took my sell at this level here so again I've probably got a better fill than I would have if I'd been at the market open definitely in sell mode not super excited about these Swiss I keep on saying that but there's a <laughs> you see why they're just not going anywhere the market at the moment CAD Swiss francs, the third one, um, similar sort of setup. Sell this morning. Look, the standard MACD is not a game, not setting the world on fire. I wouldn't even say that's in sell mode. Probably the only thing that got me in was the the uh, other than the red QMP dot and the cross on the fast MACD was the price closed just below the 25 SMA, just below it. So this morning I've got a new sell trade on the CAD Swiss. Alright, let's switch over to the high probability. Not much happening on here other than a bit of, um, just looking at my notes, a bit of trade management which we'll go through in a second. Very quiet week news wise as we've already, I've already discussed. Here we go. All right, just the four trade modifications. We'll start with the pound yen in a cell here. It's moved about 165 pips down. I've closed out half and moved my stop just above the point of entry at 147.737. 
Now the reason I closed half here when there's really like the MACD is still a fair way above the zero level and it still looks like it's heading down slowly uh, mainly because when you get a pattern like this you've got high here and we've got a double bottom here so I'm expecting some upside there which we got but it's just not a convincing downward sort of pattern you know what I mean um, I would have expected this to get this low to go lower than up here and the high just to be so lower than that high so with this high being higher than this previous high it doesn't instill a lot of faith with regards to it being an actual downtrend so I'm just keeping a closer eye on it as such and I guess this just comes from ex chart experience or recognizing patterns stuff like that so I'm just locking in a bit of profit, 165 pips or whatever it is, and bringing my stop down to there, so I'm protecting the trade basically. Just not convinced that the market is in a downward trend. If it is, I've still got half a position in, and I'll look to come down to this level here with the aqua blue line is. So that's my thinking at the moment on the pound yen, euro, Swiss franc. Um, closed half, I'm in a sell, closed half this morning and brought my stop down just below the uh, point of entry and that was just, I had a quick look at the 4 hour charts and just put above these highs here so I just switched to a 4 hour chart saw these obvious highs here and decided that's a good place for my stop just go back to the daily and I've got bullish JagFX RD it's probably only about plus 50 pips there it's a pair that does go sideways a lot I know the MACD platform is still not above the zero level. Again, we've got a high high like the pound yen. Just reducing my risk. That's all I'm doing here. Taking that 50 pips, bringing my stop down. JagFX, bullish JagFX RD there. Not worth the risk. Euro Swiss. Aussie Swiss, even more pathetic. <laughs> no, it's not pathetic. It just um, JagFX RD, bullish new one this morning. Um, we're only a, it's in a sell here, it's only a plus 20 pips, I've closed half, brought my stop down to this level here, just get in a 4 hour chart, have a quick look, just above this high here, look it's not, not setting the world on fire, this Aussie Swiss, it is not a chart, that, you know, have a look at the candles here, it's not a big move or a chart in a way, so you just take what you can get with this pair. It can continue continue down and I'll make a few pips still. But at the moment I can't lose, so just protecting my trade there. Pound Aussie um, is in a sell back here. Um, this morning got a new blue dot on the MACD Platinum. So that means time to protect my position because when you, you know, a blue dot on the MACD platinum below the zero level tells me that I'm looking for a buy so if, I'm, if, I'm, if I am in a sell trade that means I've got to take some more aggressive action on that sell trade I've, I've got to tighten my stops up or take half off the table or something like that in this case I've already taken half off the table and now I am bringing my stop in below the point of entry at 1.77891 you go down the 4 hour chart you can see a bit of luck it might just roll over anyway and, but in the daily daily chart if it stops me out small profit on this trade then I can look to buy it so that's it guys I think yep that's it for the trades today I'll get onto that weekly video sometime today I can't I've got to have to set up something in my calendar because I keep on missing the Monday evening I get at the end of the day it's the last thing I want to do is a long video but I want to be consistent so I'll do it anyway talk to you later guys cheers